Good morning, my dear students. Today's topic is theory of attributes. We shall discuss about the attribute and variable, types of attribute and class frequencies, order of class, association of attribute, coefficient of association of attributes. Now let us see attributes. The observation which the values cannot be measured quantitatively, that is beauty, honesty, literacy, insanity, etc. These observations can be grouped according to differences in quality. So the observation measures simply the presence or absence of qualitative characteristic under study or core attribute or statistic attribute. Now let us see variables. The observation where the values can be measured in quantitatively like height, weight, age, number of students, etc. are known as statistics variable or simply variable. Now let us see types of attributes, positive attributes. Attribute having presence of quality is known as positive attribute. They are represented by capital letter capital A, B, C, etc. and negative attributes, attribute having absence of quality is known as negative attributes. They are represented by small letter small or Greek letter, small letter A, B, C or Greek letter alpha, beta, gamma, etc. For example, if A denotes literacy, then small a or alpha denotes illiteracy, small b denotes sanity, then small b denotes insanity. By placing different attributes side by side, we have the classes representing combination of these attributes collectively. If A denotes literacy, B denotes sanity, then capital A B denotes combination of literacy and uh, sanity. Now let us see class frequency. The number of observations falling in a class is called its class frequency. It is represented by bracket A B A. That is class frequency of A. Uh, bracket A B denotes the number of objects belonging to class capital A B or class frequency of A B. Now the capital letter N denotes the Total frequency taken as a positive class frequency. Now let us see order of class. The number of attributes involved in the classification is called order of a class. Capital A B, small A B C, etc. <coughs> taken as class of order one. Capital A B, capital A C, etc. Order of class 2 and so on capital letter and the total frequency denote the class of zero order association of attributes two attributes a and b are said to be associated if they are not independent two attributes a and b are associated if class frequency of a b equal to is not equal to class frequency of a into class frequency of b divided by n if class frequency of a b greater than class frequency of a into class frequency of b divided by n, it denotes positively associated and less than this, it denotes negatively associated and class frequency of a b equal to class frequency of a into class frequency of b, then a and the b are independent. Now let us see coefficient of association. To measure the degree or intensity of association between two attributes is called coefficient of association. Professor Yule's coefficient of association is given as below. The value of Q lies between minus 1 and positive 1. If Q equal to 0, then A and B are independent. If Q equal to 1, then A and B are completely associated, that is perfect positive association. If 
q equal to minus 1 then a and b are completely dissociated that is perfect negative association if q greater than 0 0.5 the association between two attribute is considered to be a high degree of association if q less than 0 0.5 it shows a low degree of association between the attributes thank you